Q's TV now with Brad Voigt, and uh, Brad likely into the starting lineup this week. We'll know when the game gets going on a Saturday, but what, if anything, changes if you're out there at the beginning of the game for you? Uh, I mean, I think, uh, you know, Hopkins, playing Hopkins, will bring in a lot more energy as a whole, as a team. But um, if I, you know, if I do get that starting nod, um, I will probably have a little bit more energy, you know, a little bit more uh, nerves and stuff like that. But I'm just going to try to do what I've been doing when I step into the field, like rotating on the, the fourth attackman spot and stuff like that. So um, I don't know. I'm going to try to just, you know, do what I usually do and uh, prepare like I usually prepare and not, you know, try to think of it, go, go crazy about, about my first start and stuff like that. But um, I'm going to try to stay calm as best I can and go from there. I guess on some teams, the fourth attackman doesn't really play a lot. Here, that's not the case. So this is not really new to you playing this year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not. Um, we, ro we rotate quite a bit, but um, um, it, it will definitely be different. Um, I know I, I think that our starters that we have are the people that should start the game. Nate, uh, Brendan, and Steven, I think they're three great players. And I think, you know, when I, when I go out there, I, you know, when I rotate in, I almost feel bad taking them out because I feel like they deserve to be on the field at all times. But, um, you know, I, I kind of accepted the role as the fourth attackman, and I'm, I'm okay with that right now. So um, I, I just hope, yeah, I just hope it all works out on Saturday. Take us back to the end of the Virginia game. Tie game, you guys got the ball. It ends up in the stick of a freshman. Yeah, when yeah. you see Tucker going like that, what's your thought? Oh, yeah. I mean, <clears throat> Tucker's a great dodger. Um, I, I actually didn't expect him to shoot that because I was in the middle of the field and he was dodging down. I was like, all right, let's like move the ball behind because it didn't look like he had a good shot. And then when I saw him shoot it, I just like stared at the ball and like watched it go in. And I was like, you know, like, thank God that went in just because I didn't expect him to shoot it. But, you know, Saturday was Tucker's day and um, it just shows you just a little bit of what he can do as a player. He's, he's a very good player. So um, I think it was a huge win and I think it was a huge game for him personally just to show what he can really do. What can that add, having him, I don't know if you're getting four goals a week here, yeah, but yeah. he said it, that kind of took a load off him. Like, there was a load on you? You've been playing yeah, pretty yeah, well before know, that. Yeah, yeah. He, he definitely puts a lot of pressure on himself. But, you know, that's a good thing. He, you know, he's, he expects a lot of himself, and a lot of people expect a lot of him. So, um, you know, it, it, it puts a lot of pressure on, the, like, the, the, the defense with Trimbo up there, with a, you know, who's a great dodger. And, you know, you add Tucker dodging like that and scoring like that, you know, it's going to put a lot of – pressure on the defense and there's going to you know the matchups are going to be even worse for them uh, you've been a few of three few of these Q's Hopkins games put yeah. put this one in perspective for us um you know we haven't played them in a couple of years in the dome I think it's it's a huge game for us if we can you know if we could beat them and keep on moving forward keep on moving up in the rankings I think it'll be great um you know I think we're um I think we're going in the right direction right now and I think Hopkins is a good team but um you know it's always it's always a great game whenever we play Hopkins so we'll be excited you never want to harp on one game of the year, but did, did that Albany game sort of snap you guys back right in the right direction here? Yeah, uh, I think it you know woke us up a little bit. Um, you know, started off pretty slow, and it just ended up you know slow throughout the whole entire game. But uh, that week when we came back to practice, energy picked up a whole lot, um, and I think we we got down you know started focusing a lot more on the small details and the small things that we have to get back to, like back to the basics stuff like that. So I think you know what is you know it was a really bad loss, but I think you know it's the right time to do it and um, I think we're just gonna move on from it and we're gonna learn from it so it's the best we can do. Right, Brad keep it going enjoy yeah, it this yeah, week. Thank you I appreciate it.